Now, one of the key voices that I feel is missing from um, the baby wearing sphere is that of the point of view of an educator. Um, education is very different uh, than what we've been hearing so far. What we've been hearing so far is from a manufacturer's or a product perspective. And a product perspective um, is going to require standardization uh, in some markets because uh, that feeds to their culture and to their liability concerns. It requires, you know, that each manufacturer decides what their instructions look like and the instructions also reflect, you know, what kind of risks that they would like to um, engage in with regards to the use of their product. Whereas education is entirely different. Education, um, unlike product, has to be flexible. It has to be creative. It has to be done up on the spot for the individual that you are helping right then and there because your only goal as a baby wearing educator, as a carrying consultant, is to make sure that these parents and these babies and these children are able to participate in life fully by whatever means possible in the safest manner possible. And when I'm looking at product, and right now we are seeing a huge shift where, uh, because with the ASTM and some of the other standards, um, instructions are, must now be included, well, you'll have ring fling A and ring fling B, or may tie A and may tie B, and they will have completely different instructions where as an educator, they are functionally the exact same product and it's completely disingenuous for me to go to my client and say, yes, they look exactly the same. The fabric is different, maybe the shoulder construction, the padding, the length of this and of that, functionally the same, but you can't do that with product A because it's magic in the sense that it will fall apart if you can't use it in the same way as product B, in the same way that people have been using it traditionally uh, for a generation upon generation. Baby carriers are a very interesting um, product category because standardization is coming into play after millennia of use. And I have to say very firmly that if you are looking at education, education has to be flexible. It has to be able to uh, implement changes on the spot and to know how to do that safely and constructively. It means that you will modify um, the carrier for use if required. If you have a family um, who has a parent with special needs or a child with special needs or someone who is particularly tall or particularly short or, or whatever their situation is, or maybe the child or the parent just doesn't like it and your only goal in mind rather than needing to memorize uh, instructions for a thousand products is to be an educator and not a product demonstrator. Product demonstration is not why I do the work that I do.